Welcome to episode 2 of Flight Friday. Now, this episode is actually filmed right after because I'm going on a vacation with my dad. And it's not really a vacation, I'm just gonna stay at my dad's house instead of my foster mom's house. So, I'm not at my computer and therefore I'm gonna record the first 3 episodes as fast as possible. Maybe the first 4 episodes... But after that, the next Friday can be recorded that week. So um, now I gotta find the next aircraft. And the last one was the TU-134 and that one was great. So maybe another Tubalev, maybe some other kind of aircraft. Who knows? The Vickers Vanguard, that seems like a quite interesting aircraft. I've heard of that aircraft, the Vickers Vanguard, they, I've heard that they used to make very good aircraft until they merged with another company and therefore did not exist anymore. So now we are here, Just like that, good. Can I turn? The plane is already turned on by default, um, less realism but not that realistic like that but okay let's just take full thrust and see why one of the engine is one of the engines aren't even working but that's that's a deal breaker you know what I have an idea let's start it in the air on final approach let's do that and let's have, I have a slight pull back and roll on my controls right now. Mm, that, is, that did not seem to go good. One last way I might be able to get it in the air. Altitude. I give it an altitude of... Yeah, that's 40,000 feet in the air. Now it should be very high off the ground. Yeah, it is high off the ground. So, I got it to work. I got it to be in the air. But one of the engines aren't working. I mean, the plane is in the air, so... That gives it a slightly higher rating in can fly. That gives it a rating of 5. Uh, so... Uh, British Airways cargo. It does also seem to have a lot of liveries. That's... That might give it a little bit more. You know what? Because it has liveries, I, uh, that gives it a... So far, a 6. Not great. But if it's a 7 or over, it is acceptable. So far, it's... Mid. If it spawns in the air, it... If it spawns in the air, it can... Be good. So, it's flyable. And I just want to quickly go over the rating system that I use. 6... Is... Mid. You know what, let's start from the start. Zero, two, three is unusable. Don't download it. Four to six is possible to work with. Not great though. Seven to ten is sure download it. Right now I am trying to land, so let's see if I can even land it. This is very hard to control with the flaps down. It does not have a good model of control. This is not great. Can I land it? If I can land it, I might give it a 6.5. If I can land it, then it's okay. Right, I give it a usable out of 10 and with that I mean I give it a 
it's just under what I would say is okay. Right now it's mid. Don't download it. I wouldn't recommend it. I would say if you spawn it in there, which you can do by going out of it and then when you pick your location, pick on final approach and pick an altitude of 40,000 feet. In that case, you can fly it, you can recover whatever it does do, but I wouldn't recommend it. I give it a 6.5 out of 10. See you next Friday. Hey guys, so um, yeah, this video isn't seven minutes long, so you know what I'm gonna do to make it like one minute longer? I'm gonna get the picture for the thumbnail with you guys, so 40,000 feet to fly, and then I'm go just gonna take the thumbnail picture because i have decided that for this series i want it to be around seven minutes long so um yeah if it's not seven minutes long then uh, i'm gonna add a little extra to it so to get the thumbnail i want it to be this side as this side is it works everything on this side works then i'm gonna pick a livery in this case i think DHL that seems great maybe be a um, trans Canada Airlines yeah why not that seems like a very good airline and so I'm gonna maybe turn my camera slightly turn this slightly pitch it a little bit up and then I'm gonna press Windows G I'm not sure if you can see this but now that I'm here I can take a picture with screenshots and that seems like a great picture so yeah that's seven minutes and that's all thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next video bye